Who's this? That one. That one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh cool. <laughs> wow, was that cool? This wall, that though. Fish in the boat. Have some work to do on that one though. I do believe. Wow, that was fun. Great big muskie on the red October. Really been working well. Getting a bunch of follows and uh, caught a few now on the red October. So I think I might do a uh, water release here rather than dick around in the boat. Uh, so uh, we'll check it out here. Great big one. I don't want to risk dropping it. People want to try to keep muskies from jumping. I love when they jump. It's awesome. You know that red October was totally down the hatch, but uh, actually not too bad. Just one hook and I just replaced the uh, the treble on there so just one hook in the back treble hook was caught in the fish's mouth and we're good to go hopefully we'll get another one I kept going. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Like a big torpedo. That was really cool. She knows what's up. That's the way I take that. She knows the game. It's big fish on a pretty obvious spot that gets hit quite a bit. So it looked pretty educated to me uh, as far as that first follow and a couple other follows I had. Came back and uh, used a uh, variety of lures including this uh, Pedal X wrap that uh, gets some attention here. Um, I came back in the evening right at dusk, the usual play on something like this and uh, I did get a nice bite uh, from a muskie of some sort. Not necessarily this one because there were several muskies on this spot but uh, didn't hook into the fish. Real nice fish and uh, probably uh, one of the bigger ones I've seen on this outing. Oh yeah, here comes a big one. Look at that quick sound again. Using the heavier version of the Red October off a deep break line, mid-afternoon. Get a little bit of action, but uh, unfortunately I don't get a good hook set.
There's fish. There's a fish. Oh, I, oh, I got off. Damn it. Damn it. Mid-afternoon grind is always tough and really tough when you actually get a bite and lose it. That's the way muskego fishing goes sometimes. Huh. There's one finning over there. Small one. Small musky finning. Isn't that funny? Right there. <laughs> Actually a porpoising muskie, but as it turns out, this is a pike that's been attacked by a muskie. Out here, the uh, pike eat the little muskie, and uh, the big muskie eat the all sizes of pike. Pretty interesting to see. Check out my next video where you see a, a pike that's actually uh, survived this attack. Is that a muskie? It sure is small. Taking a gamble on the surface, right behind my lure. Let's have a look if we can, although I know there's a bigger fish around here. Wow, look at the teeth marks on this pike here. Must be on this pike here. Wowza. Wow. It's a wide jaw. Look at, the, look at the bite marks on this pike. Holy jeez. A pike? Maybe eagle food, if not a musky food. See a bit of a weather change with the northwest winds and clouding over. Optimism rises for a bite window coming on. Oh, there's a fish. Got him. Nice pike. Pike. We're on anchor lock here. This guy released. That's a big pike. Look at that. Holy. Whew. Beauty. There she goes. Some big wind and getting a little chilly now, but uh, that kind of wind is uh, musky time. Wow. Wow. That was a nice one. <laughs> wow, that was cool. I didn't know where my lure was. In relation to the surface. God, that was cool. That was a big one. That was a big one. <laughs> wow.
القهوة القهوة يلا <تصفيق> tiny one here <laughs> that's that's fun wow it's like a fucking place for a little Put up a good fight. Wow. I got a little musky there. I forgot to press record on my little camera here. Hopefully we got her. Probably a little small one, probably just about 30 some inches there. Just a drill giant though. So uh, they're biting anyways, so we'll keep going here. Got them on a red October 2. It's been uh, getting quite a bit of action. Took a bit of a break and came back out with uh, renewed energy for the evening possibilities. back and then I really screwed up. Oh I got another one. Even when one lure is working really well, like the tube here, I mix it up and uh, using a crankbait here on the rocks sometimes gets some attention. Really revved up fish comes in on the figure eight. He bites on the straightaway on one of the turns actually twice and uh, fortunately when he did bite I missed the uh, hook set. Oh. Got him. Oh. Wow. Tried setting the hook down and uh, probably him. should have tried hooking back towards the fish. I lost him. I did not have him. <laughs> that was exciting. Out in the morning, fishing the Red October in a uh, current inflow area. Unfortunately, the battery on my chest cam dies, so the apologies for the audio. Using the Red October, the deep version, and uh, unusual looking fish with the two-tone colors you sometimes see. Uh, it'll be pretty neat to see uh, if somebody gets this in the future when it gets a lot bigger. Current. Whew. 
a little pike or something. It's a musky. Little one. Cobra does it again. Another Northwestern Ontario muskie. <laughs> Off she goes. She's healthy, that one. Fishing a classic muskie spot here. Channel between two islands, a little bit of current coming through it. Rock structures, reefs, really a great spot. There's a muskie. Got him. Bring him. Wow, I'm in some trouble here. Little one. Whew. Another beautiful Northwestern Ontario muskie on the Red October. Off she goes. We're in a classic spot again, complex area with rocky point, deep water, weeds, some boulders, all around great looking spot. Gonna hit the water. I don't know how big yet. It feels heavy. It feels heavy. It feels real big. Oh, not a giant, but a good one. Yeah, I'm exhausted from a long day of casting, but uh, well worth it. Real nice fish. Woo, in the net. A nice one. Woo. Yeah, red October again. Nice Northwestern Ontario muskie on the Red October. Another beauty.
Thanks for watching. This is part one of two. Next up, more big rubber.